the case is rather unusual, madam. The accused, though acting individually, did in fact commit the offences collectively. <laughs> I see. What are the charges? Miss Chung Su Lee and Mr. Taro Nagazumi inciting a riot. I demand diplomatic immunity. Silence. <laughs> Mr. Giovanni Cupello and Miss Daniel Favre disturbing the peace. Mr. Ranjit Singh and Mrs. Jamila Ranjaf causing an affray. Please, I'm not understanding what he's meaning. And I am no be understand also, Master Ji. But he's reading out the charges. You mean we are having to pay for being here? <laughs> More than likely. Will you please be quiet? Sorry. Mr. Ali Nadim and Miss Anna Schmidt causing a public nuisance. Mr. Juan Cervantes and Mr. Maximilian Papandrios assaulting a police officer. <coughs> he assault us first. Shame. He hit my fist with his jaw. <laughs> <laughs> Another remark like that, I shall hold you in contempt. Por favor. Speak when you are spoken to, Juan. Sorry, wrong number. Carry on with the charges. That's all. Well, what about Mr. Brown? Oh, I'm not charged with anything. And what are you doing in the dock? I've come here to speak on their behalf. He's our mouthpiece. <laughs> sure. <laughs> He's going to spring us. <laughs> you see, Miss Courtney... Stop. Now... You must come down onto the floor of the court if you wish to address the bench. Oh, right. You see, Miss Courtney, there Stop. are... I am not Miss Courtney. <laughs> Funny. She looked like Miss Courtney. <laughs> you have kindly address me as Your Honour. Sorry, Miss Courtney. Uh, Your Honour. But there are mitigating circumstances, and I'm sure that when you've heard what these students have to say, you will decide to act leniently. Well, we'll see about that after we have heard the explanation. Yes. Well, it all happened last Friday evening after class. As part of their homework, I decided to give the students various tasks to perform, things to do, places to visit. Suli and Taro, would you tell the court what happened in your case? Take the stand, please. Take the book in your right hand and read what's on the card. Yes, sir. I swear by Almighty God, that's the evidence I shall give shall be the truth. The whole truth, nothing but the truth. Take the book in your right no. hand. Are you saying that you are not going to tell the truth? The Republic of China not brief in Christian religion. What do you believe in? Chairman Mao. Very well. Do you swear by Chairman Mao that the evidence you give should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? In Democratic Republic of China, there's no loom for eyes. Truth is absolute. So say Chairman Mao. <laughs> I think we can accept that as an affirmation. <laughs> Proceed. Task Mr. Blount allocate to Talo and me is visit Speaker's Corner in Hyde Park to observe orators. I say to your defense. Not our fault. You may stand down. Who's next? <coughs> Mr. Giovanni Capello and Miss Favreau. Take the book in your right hand and read what's on the card. Not the likely. Why not to swear on a Protestant Bible? We are Catholics. I swear by the Pope. Give him a Catholic Bible. Okay, okay. <laughs> I promise I'm going to tell all of the truth. Me too. Carry on. <laughs> Your Honor. <clears throat> It's like it is. Mr. Brown asked us to visit television studios to see how television programs are made. Your Honor, I rest uh, my bag. No, 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 no Giovanni, you rest your case. Okay, cocky, I rest uh, my bag and uh, my case. Silence. And there is far too much levity in this courtroom. We will now take a short break, and when we come back, I shall hope for a little more respect. Otherwise, the court will be clear. <laughs> and Mrs. Ranja. What do you swear on? I never swear. <laughs> I swear against my religion. He is being mean swear on holy book. Thousand apologies. I'm swearing by the Guru Granth Sahib. May Guru Granth Sahib Jai Dishon Kha Ke Ke Jo Bhi Makin Ga No. I am be swear by Almighty God. I am be swear 
to tell the obsolete truth and nothing but the obsolete truth. Carry on. Master G is ask us for our homey work to be take boat on River Thames. And we comply. Hmm. Boat didn't sink. It did. <laughs> Stand down. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Uh, Mr. Cervantes and Mr. Pattinger. Take the book in your right hand and read what's on the card. Por favor. <laughs> we tell the truth. Si, si, si. I tell you what happened. No, no. Mis I tell. No, 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 no. I speak good, better English. No, Mr. I speak better English than you speak better English. Eh, si me lo sé. Eh, no, me chala ahora, no quería bajar. Tell the court what happened, Mr. Cervantes. Si, señora. Hmm. <laughs> and Mr. Brown, he tell us to go and see the wax wax. Wax wax. <laughs> he say, I tell. Not you. Okay. So we go to Madame. That's all. It's quite enough. You may stand down. Mr. Nadim and Miss Schmidt. I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And what about you? Oh, blimey. <laughs> I'm also swearing, but by the Holy Quran. मैं कुरान शरीफ पे हाथ रख के कसम कहता हूँ कि मैं सच बोलूँगा पूरा सच बोलूँगा सवाल सच के कुछ नहीं बोलूँगा। Oh yes. Proceed, please. Jolly good. Teacher is tolding us to be visiting. I am not tolding you anything, Ali. Oh yes, please. I was being there when you were tolding us. There's no such word as tolding. Teacher is right. Thank you, Anna. Mr. Brown told us. <laughs> the past participle of the verb to tell is told. Mr. Brown, may I remind you that you are not here to teach English? Yes, Miss Courtney. I'm uh, sorry, Your Honor. Carry on, Mr. Nadim. Jelly bit. <clears throat> Mr. Brown told us to be visiting the zoo. We saw all the animals, and on the way out, Ali decided he wanted to ride on the elephant. What happened to the elephant? It went for a bath in the lake. Unfortunately, we are still sitting on it. <laughs> you may stand down. Mr. Brown, have you anything to say before I give judgment? Yes, Miss Courtney. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I beg the court to show clemency in this case. These poor unfortunate people are guests in our country. They have journeyed from their native lands to our shores to learn our mother tongue. Why? Because they admire our English way of life with its long tradition of hospitality, free speech, justice and, above all, fair play. They have committed no offence in their eyes. They were merely carrying out their duties as they saw them. I mean, one only has to look at them to see that they are not criminals. <laughs> I'm sure the court will find them innocent. If anyone is guilty, it is I. Bravo! Thank you, Petrocelli. <laughs> <laughs> well, having regard to your impassioned plea for mercy, the court tends to agree with your remarks. The accused are more misguided than mischievous. Therefore, the court finds the defendants not guilty. <laughs> However, the court agrees with Mr. Brown that if anyone is guilty, he is. To have sent out these poor, unfortunate students on such foolhardy errands is highly irresponsible. It is a pity that the court cannot punish you. But be warned, Mr. Brown, if you ever come before this bench again for whatever reason, you will be severely dealt with. The court will adjourn. The case is rather unusual, madam. The accused, though acting individually, did in fact commit the offences collectively. <laughs>
<laughs> I see. What are the charges? Miss Chung Su Lee and Mr. Taro Nagazumi inciting a riot. I demand diplomatic immunity. Silence. <laughs> Mr. Giovanni Cupello and Miss Daniel Favre disturbing the peace. Mr. Ranjit Singh and Mrs. Jamila Ranjaf causing an affray. Please, I'm not understanding what he's meaning. And I am no be understand also, Master G. But he's reading out the charges. You mean we are having to pay for being here? <laughs> More than likely. Will you please be quiet? Sorry. Mr. Ali Nadim and Miss Ad